So we're going to be making chocolate brownies and for that uh, I use a 20 centimetre square tin. Uh, the sides are a couple of centimetres, three centimetres maybe deep and I'm just going to grease that with some butter. So then you need to melt the butter and the chocolate. In this bowl I have 200 grams of butter and 180 grams of dark chocolate, that's a minimum of 70% cocoa content. The butter, if you buy a block, a 250 gram block of butter, um, it does have 50 gram markers on it. Um, I've measured it today and the 200 grams does is pretty accurate. So if you don't have scales, you can just cut it. So put it in the bowl. Uh, I've used a glass bowl. Uh, you can use anything as long as it's not plastic over the heat. The pan has boiling water in it. Just make sure the bowl doesn't touch the water. And I'm going to put that on a low heat and stir it until it's melted. Then in a separate bowl, you need to sieve 75 grams of plain flour. And add to that 50 grams of cocoa powder, 250 grams of caster sugar, and a teaspoon of baking powder. And just mix all that together. To that you pour in the melted chocolate and butter mix. And you mix it until that's all combined. mixture you add three eggs now I break these and beat them slightly in a separate bowl uh, just in case you get any shell or a bad a bad egg uh, and then pour that the three eggs into the chocolate mixture I'm just going to give that a whisk now to combine it all and there you have your mixture ready to go into your tin to bake and then you want to pour the mixture into the pre-greased tin and bake that in the oven for approximately 20 to 25 minutes. It's worth checking after 20 um, and that's at fan 180. So just pour the whole mixture in and then spread it out so that it covers the whole tin. It's all nice and even and then we're going to put that in the oven. The brownie's been in the oven for 20 minutes and I'm going to check that it's done by testing it with a skewer. So just stick it into the middle of the sponge and bring it out and if it comes out fairly clean you don't want it completely clean because you do want it to be slightly soft and spongy in the middle. So. Um, then you know it's done. So I give the brownie a couple of minutes and then tip it out onto a board and leave it to cool before you cut it. 